What is atheism? Atheism is rejecting belief in any form of unseen divinity. The atheist denies the existence of a creator, of divine revelation, and of resurrection. What is the proof that there is a creator? There are many proofs, but we will focus on two. The first is called proof on the basis of existence. And the second is called proof on the basis of providence. What is meant by proof on the basis of existence? Everything is temporarily originated. It came into existence after it was non-existent, so it must have had an originator. This means we have 10 to the 124th proofs that a creator exists. This number constitutes the overall number of molecules with their functional activities throughout the universe. By the way, this number is huge. It means 10 followed by 124 zeros. So everything that originated and entered the sphere of existence is a proof that there is a creator. That is why many verses of the Quran bring the creations into focus. Allah says, say, look at whatever exists in heaven and on earth, but signs and warnings do not benefit the unbelievers. Translation of the meaning of the Quran, chapter 10, verse 101. Allah also says what means, do they not ponder about their own selves? Allah has created the heavens and the earth and all that is between them for a purpose and for an appointed time. Yet many deny they will never meet with their Lord. Chapter 30, verse 8. He also says what means, Have they not looked into the realms of the heavens and the earth and all that Allah created and seen that the end of their time might be near? What will they believe in if they do not believe in this? Chapter 7, verse 185. So everything that has originated is in itself a direct proof that there is an originator. What is meant by proof on the basis of providence? It means that everything ultimately in existence started from the quarks, which are the smallest subatomic particles ever allocated up to the galaxies, carries an extent of functional complexity. This means that each has a specific and specialized function, and a functional complexity necessarily means a grade above mere existence. Existence is a status, and the complexity within the originated thing is a grade above that status of mere existence. So, everything around you is designed in a special method, so as to carry on a special function. Hence, everything around you carries a functional complexity, and this complexity is a proof of origination, which means that it must have had an originator. An example of this is the lamp. This is a functional complexity. The electric lamp is made up of a coil, a lead wire that connects electricity to the coil, inert gas that protects the coil and does not affect it or the electricity, a glass bulb that prevents the entry of air or the exit of the inert gas, which would otherwise burn the coil, and finally the base of the lamp, which connects the lamp with the socket and ensures the passage of the electrical current. Here, the electric lamp demonstrates a system of complexity that cannot be dismissed or simplified, since it carries a rudimentary, rational indication to the mastery of the manufacturer. Then, the one who denies the masterful formation of the lamp, or assumes that it originated by chance, is the one required to fetch a proof to his assumption. The lamp maker knows pretty much well what electricity means, how it is conveyed, the benefit of the lamp, and the sensitivity of the coil. That's why the presence of the lamp is in itself a proof on the mastery of the maker. While having a diverse array of lamps can never be a proof that it is all just mere chance. Using this same rationalization, we can deduct that a creature with all this functional complexity, the human being, must have had an originator. The lamp is made up of four components whereas the human being is made up of three billion components in each and every one of his cells. The human code is spelled out in three billion DNA letters, known as the human genome. 
and these letters reside within the nucleus of each of our molecules. So, if you look at the four components of the lamp and deduce that it must have had a maker, and you do not realize that you too must have had a maker, then the problem is in your way of thinking. Allah says, what means, were they created out of nothing, or are they their own creators? Chapter 52, verse 35. Look around and see the extent of complexity associated with virtually everything. There is actually nothing in this whole wide nature that is free from but a degree of complexity, according to the physicists. Allah says, in the creation of the heavens and the earth, in the alternation of night and day, in the ships that sail the ocean bearing cargoes beneficial to man, in the water which Allah sends down from the sky and with which he revives the earth after its death, scattering over it all kinds of animals, in the courses of the winds and in the clouds pressed into service between earth and sky, there are indeed signs for people who use their reason. Chapter 2, verse 164. Only those who use their minds to ponder will take heed, but only the wise take heed. Chapter 3, verse 7. Hence existence, proof on the basis of existence, and regulating creation, proof on the basis of providence, are both rational evidences to the presence of an originator.